Hey guys! So I just came back yesterday from Los Angeles and Japan. So for those of you that didn't know, I actually went over to Los Angeles for about five days for Anime Expo and I was flown there by Liz Lisa to work at the Liz Lisa store there. So it was a great experience, I had a lot of fun, met a lot of new friends. And so just before I start, I want to say thank you to all you subscribers who said hello to me. I had so much fun meeting you guys and I'm sorry I couldn't talk much to you guys because I was actually working. But I was so happy and it really encouraged me to make a lot of videos. So from now on, um, please keep supporting my channel and I'll try and upload as much as I can. If you didn't have a chance to say hi to me at Anime Expo, that's alright. I might be back next year or I might do a meet and greet next time I'm in the States. So I hope to see you guys there next time. And so in this video, I'm going to do a makeup haul. So makeup is so much more cheaper in the States than it is in Australia. So when I went to Los Angeles, my family actually took me around for a day and I managed to get a little bit of shopping done. I didn't really get much done because I only had about three hours with them. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I bought today. So first off, my family took me to Target and drugstore makeup is so cheap in the States. I was so happy. Um, in Australia, drugstore prices are probably around the same prices as high-end brands in the States. So I went a little crazy in Target and my cousin actually gave me a lot of makeup as well. So let's start. <laughs> so first off, I got the Maybelline the Rocket Mascara and I heard this mascara was really good. Um, a lot of people recommended it so I thought I'd try it out. And with drugstore mascaras, I don't really use them because I found that they didn't really work that well for me. And also because they're really expensive in Australia. So I found this and I thought I'd try it out. So I'll probably review it sometime after I tried it out a few times. And then next I got the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. And my cousin recommended this to me. I haven't really used any Western drugstore foundations before so I'm going to try this one out. And next I got a few items from Physicians Formula and we can't actually get these items in Australia. We do have this brand but they didn't have these Happy Booster items. So I really wanted to try this blush for a long time now so I'm, I was really happy when I saw it so I got one for myself. And then I also got the Glow and Mood Boosting Baked Bronzer. So the packaging is so adorable, I've wanted to try it for so long so can't wait to try these out. Next I got a Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel. And I've actually used this before. This was my favourite loose powder when I was in high school. And they're quite pricey in Australia, so got this one for, I can't remember, maybe $5 or so. And then I went to Revlon and got the Just Bitten Kissable in Cherish. And I really wanted to try these out, but they're too expensive to buy in Australia. So I got this one and can't wait to try it out. And then my cousin got me the EOS Lip Balm. And I think you can buy these in Australia, but they're quite pricey again. So I can't wait to try this one out as well. And then after that I went to ELF and oh my gosh, ELF is so cheap in the US. So I picked up a few items and my cousin gave me a few items as well. So first off I got the lip stain. And then I also got the flawless eyeshadow in Golden Goddess. A powder brush. And my cousin got me the cream eyeliner. And I also got the eyebrow kit from my cousin. So it's got a gel and a powder. And then also I got the all over colour stick in Persimmon. Last item I got from e.l.f. is the contouring blush and bronzing powder. And I don't really use many bronzers so I'm hoping to try out this and hopefully it's good. So that's all the stuff I bought from Target. I went a bit crazy because everything was so cheap but I didn't really have time to go through everything because I got in there like close to 9 o'clock and that was when they were closing so I was grabbing stuff and yeah, wish I had more time in the States to go shopping, but I didn't really have much time there. I was working every single day, so hopefully I'm able to go back next year and spend more time shopping. And so that's just the drugstore part. Then I went to Sephora the next day and I only got one item, but I got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I've heard so many good reviews on this item. I've always wanted to try it out, but I was too scared to buy it online in case I bought a fake instead. So yeah, I got this in the new packaging, so I can't wait to try this on out as well. Next I went to Macy's and I went to MAC. And I only got two items from MAC. I got the MAC Pigment Eclay in Rose. I tried this out and it looked so gorgeous. I love the colour, so I can't wait to use these for my tutorial. And so the sales assistant showed me how good it looked with the MAC Fix as well. So I decided to get that as well because it just looks so much more pigmented. So definitely thought it was worth getting this as well. So that's all what I got from America. I also went to the duty free store in Japan in the airport. So I picked up a few items, I didn't get many. But I got 
another shoe would have been a face architect foundation because I'm running out and this is the only foundation I've been using for for about three years now it's my favorite foundation HG foundation it never breaks me out it looks flawless so I picked up another one and I picked up two eyeshadows from Shu Urimura the Silk Smooth Eyeshadow Refills in gold and silver also in Duty Free iPod by Anna Sui and I got this blush compact it looks so cute the packaging was adorable so I couldn't resist so I grabbed another blush and since I was transferring in Singapore Changi Airport I walked around the airport for a while because I had about 5 hours to spare and I only bought one item which is the Firming Sleeping Pack from Laneige and apparently this is a top selling product so I can't wait to try it out and hopefully include it in my um, everyday skincare routine so that's it for my haul, I didn't buy too much makeup and I mainly bought like really cheap items other than that thank you so much for supporting my channel all this time I really appreciate it and I really appreciate all you subscribers who came to say hi to me thank you so much again really made me happy and really encouraged me to make a lot of videos for you guys if you guys have any requests for videos please let me know in the comment box below and I try my best to do most of your requests and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye